Pastor on. It's me, Amy. Hey. Um, Amy. Yes. I got, a, I got kind of a challenge for you. You got today. a challenge for me? Give it. How about we paint our masterpieces? Well, really, each other masterpieces, blindfolded, like right now. Wait a minute. So you're saying we're gonna paint each other's painting, blindfolded? Like right now for 30 seconds. <laughs> yes, we're doing this. And we're gonna do it like right now. Now? Okay, let's go. Okay, hold on, move it, dude. No, 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 move it. Move it. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade. Ow, dude, you're, you're tickling my armpit. It's okay. <laughs> it's for, it's for Jesus. Oh, dude, come on, the armpit. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Dude, you're gonna dig it. You're I gonna, just know it. Upgrade time. I got this intuition. I think we gotta be good. Ah! Ten, ten more seconds, ten more seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> two. Two. One. One. one okay. Two. Put, put, put the down. Put the numbers down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready? And then our blindfold's down on three, ah. two, one, go. <gasps> Whoa! Amy! Impressive! My friend! Hey, you know what this reminds me of? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about <gasps> worship! worship! But wait a minute. No, uh-uh. Why? On mm, your hands. I don't know what it means to just get by with doing the least I can do. All I know is how to be the one who goes hard to see it all through I'm not gonna wait around These feet are gonna hit the ground Do it with all of my heart I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen Whatever it takes I'm gonna give it my all Eliminate all distractions Every day no matter the stakes I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen Whatever it takes I'm gonna give it my all Eliminate all distractions Shut 
hey, we're done with worship now. Wait, we are? Yeah. I really enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed worship blindfolded. I mean, you, you can take it off now. Are you just gonna stay blindfolded? Well, I think I will. I, I kind of like the feel. Okay, well, if you're gonna do that, let's, let's just, I guess, finish your artwork then. Here, I'm gonna hang this Can stuff. you help me out? Just yeah. uh, pass me go. something. There's some stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Um, where's the glue? I need the glue. Um, 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 the glue's right here. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. This is gonna be great. Okay, I'm gonna give you more stuff. You gotta, you gotta go quickly. Okay, well, hang on, hang on, okay. one thing at a time. Okay, here's some pipe cleaners. Oh, there this go. is good. Here's thank you. Cleaners. Oh, thank you, thank you. And then here's some. Here's oh, I needed this stuff. While you're doing that, we're gonna go into the big word. My name is Madeline, and I'm 11 years old. I love to go swimming. This is Cody, and this is Kai, and they're four years old. And they're both four years old. I like an elephant. I like a zebra. A dog. Hi, my name is Lucy and I'm six years old. My favorite food is mac and cheese. Here's the big word. How you Tell made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for you that. that. What you have that done is wonderful. wonderful. I know that very, very well. well. Psalm 139, dot, 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 14. Mm -hmm. How you How made, made me is wonderful. wonderful. I praise you for you that. that. What you, you have, have done is wonderful. Done. I know that very, very well. well. Psalm yeah. 139, dot, dot, dot 14. 14. <laughs> That was crazy. Now back to positions. All right, I think I'm done. Let me see it. Woohoo! I'm pretty good when I'm blindfolded on. I agree. <laughs> so, I was listening while I was blindfolded, and so let me just get this straight, okay? Individuality is discovering who we are meant to be so that we can make a difference. Correct, though. Okay, and, and God made us each unique and beautiful in his own image. Also correct, though. Okay, and we're painting all month to illustrate the creation of a masterpiece in the same way that we are God's masterpiece. Amy, I think you got it. Okay, but there's one more thing. Uh, my painting is way better than yours on. Correct, though, wait, 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 wait. What? You heard me, I said mine's better. No, it's not mine's better. Hold on, you know I'm messing with you. Both of them are Projects are just equally lovely. Okay. And individualistic, like, like we are. Like a masterpiece. Exactly. Correct, though. That's right. So, it's now time for the So and So Show. Let's check it out. We can keep adding, right? Yeah. May as well. I've got an everlasting candy. I've got an everlasting candy. I've got an everlasting chance for me to say, with an everlasting candy, it'll last all day. Hey, you think I can have some of that everlasting candy? Nope. It's all mine. Forever. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have this gum. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh. And today we're brought to you by the number 12. Like 12 drummers drumming. 
for 12 pixie sticks. Are 12 cats stuck in a tree. <laughs> but our favorite 12 is a 12 year old robotics champion. Please welcome someone who knows no, stuff. stuff. Come on in, it's so good to see you again. Thanks, I'm so excited to be here. Okay, for those who may have missed you last time, tell us who you are and what you know. My name's Mishka and I am now a 19 time robotics champion and a maker slash inventor. Oh, inventor? Oh, I didn't know you invented things. Oh yeah, that's actually how I got into robotics. I was trying to build a machine to take out the trash that's my chore at home, oh. but it ended up just chunking trash around the house. So my mom thought putting me in robotics club after school was a better use of my time. Was it? Oh yeah, I've invented and built all kinds of things. Like, like what? what? Like an automatic dog bowl, it feeds your dog while you're away. Oh, that's awesome. I also invented a toothbrush that brushes your teeth while you sleep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I. you know, the only thing I've ever invented is a sandwich. It's called the stomach nuke. I wouldn't recommend eating it. But I've always wanted to build something that really mattered, you know? Something that could help the world. And now I have. What, what is it? it? I call it the static charge transducer. Wow! What, what does, does it do? Einstein, Bose, Newton, Curry, MacGyver. No, no, she says the names of physicists when she's feeling impatient. Right, oh, sorry, did we, did we say something wrong? No, you're fine. I just thought this invention was obvious, but obviously not. <laughs> the static charge transducer collects static electricity and stores into a battery. Then it expels the electricity into an actual electrical voltage that can just about power anything. Einstein, Bose, Newton Curry MacGyver. It means that instead of wind power, hydropower, or even solar power, the static charge transducer can create electricity just about anywhere. All you need is a static charge. Oh. You still don't understand, do you? No. Want a demonstration? Yes. Why don't we make it a little competition? It's time to play How Many So-and-So Hosts Does It Take to Turn on a Light Bulb? What are we doing? You are both covered in wool blankets, which are wonderful conductors. When I say go, you both will jump around, therefore brushing the wool, causing a static charge to pass through the transducer, then into the light bulb. The first person to light up your light bulb with nothing but static electricity wins. Got it? Uh, is this safe? On your mark, oh. get set, go. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh, look at that, look at that, got it, oh, ow! Oh, oh come on. Oh, that hurts. Come on, no, no, no. You did it, Brandon! I did. You created a usable electricity from static! And John, you, you exercise. Well, I did eat those pixie sticks. Yeah. Hey, this is incredible, Mishka, I mean, You've used your talents, your skills, and your gifts to truly make a difference. Yeah, Thanks. no doubt this transducer is gonna change the world. Transducer. Yeah, that too. Hey, whenever you have something else to show us, please bring it on the show. we Will do. See you guys. All right, bye. <sighs> this thing is hot. Yeah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Should I even ask? Oh, science experiment. Ah, makes sense. So Kellen, do you have a Bible story for us? I do. It's about a young person who maybe thought he didn't have a lot to offer, but God created him just like he created all of us to make a huge difference. Just like Mishka. Yep. Oh, I'm also gonna need your help for this story. No, no problem. problem. To the theater. <laughs> 
this story begins several years after Jesus had been resurrected and had gone back to heaven. The Apostle Paul was on a long missionary journey and was headed to the town of Lystra, where a young man named Timothy lived. God bless us, everyone. I'm Tiny Tim. I don't think anyone called him Tiny Tim, but I'm going to roll with it. Timothy's mother and grandmother were Jewish and believed in the one true God. But his father, his father was Greek. I'm a Greek. And he probably didn't believe in the same things as Timothy's mother and grandmother. Now you go and run off, work hard, and be a good man. Yes, Papa. Let me see you run. Faster. Faster, my boy. Now do a flip. Whoa. Whoa, that's a perfect 10. <laughs> Very good. Go, now go, go, go. Go. Oh, he left. Now, when Paul arrived in Lystra, he began teaching people all about Jesus, and he even healed a man in Jesus' name. Now, you would have thought that that would have made people happy. I, Paul, have healed this man in Jesus' name. Jesus came to save us. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Oh, stop it! Ah. But uh. many people didn't trust Paul, so they threw stones at him. No, 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 please! please. Ah. Ah. Stop! Ah. Get away. That one's going to leave a mark. Ah. They thought he was dead, so they dragged him out of the city. But he wasn't dead yet, and he wasn't scared either. He got back up, went right back into the city to teach some more. And Timothy, his mother and grandmother, they listened to Paul's teachings, and all three of them became believers in Jesus. God loved us so much that he sent Jesus. God has blessed us, everyone. When Paul went on his way, he left behind a small, thriving new church. Timothy became a faithful disciple of Jesus, and everyone in the church spoke well of him. So much so that when Paul returned several years later, he wanted Timothy to travel with him on his journey. I want you to travel with me on my journey. Why do you want me to come along? There are others who are older and with more experience. Your mother's Jewish, right? Yes, sir. And your father's Greek? Yes, sir. Well, then you've been raised to know God's law, and you also know how to relate to people who may be from different backgrounds. You're very special. I am. Then let's go. Yes, walk with me. Over the next few years, Timothy traveled with Paul, helping to encourage believers in starting up new churches. Paul even sent Timothy to help lead churches in the cities of Corinth and Ephesus. Paul wrote Timothy a letter with a special mission. Timothy, I have a special mission for you if you choose to accept it. I don't want it. You may not think you want it, but wait until I've finished writing. Okay. I want you to stay in Ephesus. Stay in Ephesus? Yes, Ephesus. But the leaders in Ephesus are so much older than me. Read this very carefully. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't let anyone look down upon you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. And also set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. Use the gift the Holy Spirit gave you. What an amazing letter. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, oh. I'll do it. Who what are you waiting for? Go, go, oh, my son. Oh. <laughs> Look at him run. I love to watch him run. Go, do great things. Even though Timothy may have been young when he met Paul, that didn't stop him from helping to build the early church and making a huge difference in telling the incredible news of Jesus. The end. Timothy was the perfect person to help Paul plant churches. With his gifts and his background, he fit right in. Yep, Timothy discovered who he was meant to be, and then he made all the difference in the world. It just goes to show you, you're never too young to make a difference. Thanks, Kellen. That was awesome. No problem.
I'll see you guys next time. What an incredible day. We had Mishka, who's 12 and is already making a difference in the world. And Timothy made a huge difference too. Hmm. So I've got a question. Then reveal the question. Ah, how can you make a difference right now? Yeah, think about that. Well, uh, you can use your talent to entertain someone who's feeling bored. Sing someone a song, do a dance, tell a joke. Uh, you can help make peace between people having an argument. Uh, you can solve a complicated problem for someone with a math emergency. And there are so many ways you can make a difference in someone's life or in the world. And you don't have to wait until you're older to do it. I feel like I really need to get on this. Mishka and Timothy have really inspired me. You've made a difference today, John. You've eaten 12 pixie sticks, danced around wrapped in a giant wool blanket, and you've been the head on a baby doll body. That's pretty inspiring too. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Talk about it together. How can you make a difference right now? And we'll see you guys next time for a brand new So and So Show! Bye! Do you think they were listening to me or were they making a difference right then? The shovel. Oh yeah. You know, don't you love how Timothy like lived out what he believed, Amy? Like he didn't want to wait until he was older to live out for God. He opened up his heart to God right away and God did great things through him. That's right. And God can work through you too, no matter your age. I think that deserves a prayer. Let's pray. God, thank you for giving us a chance to make a difference, even today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm thinking about <gasps> worship. But wait a minute. No. Uh -uh. Why? Uh, on your hands. Hmm. But you know what we're gonna do though. What? We should worship. <gasps> Blindfolded! You're Ready? genius. Ready? Three, on three. Three, two, two, one. Oh, oh, go Jesus. Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey. Worship, worship, baby. I really understand the meaning of being led by the Spirit now. Because I'm I, feeling good. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, oh no! Pass her on! Huh? Are you okay? I don't know. Okay, wait, stop what you're doing. I'm feeling very peaceful. Bye, kids! Bye. See you next week. It's Big Word. We're having it in a Bible story. Yeah, we're just supposed to go to Big Word. I did. So you'll just have to trail it out. Yeah, yeah. Just like a slow thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And let's go ahead. We'll start with the oldest down to the youngest. Tell us your name and your age and what you like. And you can introduce them if you want. Sorry. Hi. Hi there. Okay, hold it right there. There you go. Hold yours a little higher. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to read it. And I'd like you to do the connected again. Stay connected with us. Stay connected with us. Join our Facebook group. Join our Facebook group. Join our text group. Join our text group. Join our newsletter. Join our newsletter. Feeling very inspired. You're inspiring me not to be blindfolded. Oh, hey. Come on now. Any more help? Yeah, can you rip this up for me in little tiny shreds? No, I'm I want shreds. I'll just give you more. Here you go. Hey! Got some glitter on top okay, of that. Okay, let me just place it. Uh, some glitter. There you go. We can keep adding, right? Yeah. May as well. I thought we were leaving. That's why I was waving, Amy. It's okay. You're waving to the show and show, so show. No, I want to go in and out. Show and show, guys. I want to go in and out. I'm hungry. It's, we'll go later. Okay, fine. Just hang on. Do you need help on your masterpiece? Um, maybe. Because it's so much better than mine's. Oh, you know I was messing. Remember, don't buy me sweetest <laughs> fishes, okay? <laughs> I won't, but if I see them at the dollar store, I'm just going to grab them. That's fine. Why not? Because I like... I told you, I like Sour Patch Kids. I'll get you some Sour Patch Kids. That's what friends are for. Whoa, whoa. Sloppy Joe, sloppy, sloppy Joe. Done. I'm almost done. Okay, We're done. Cover this bucket. Do -do -do, do We're done. Do Stephen, turn it off. No, you haven't, you haven't, uh, you, you have haven't to, like, prayed yet. You, you have, have to. Like, I didn't even know you were going to pray. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> putting on these at all times. Like, give him. Oh, he needs more time, yeah. Like, well, he like, doesn't have to put stuff on it, but he can if he well, wants to. Well, I mean, to make it... Okay, Stephanie, press play. Second, I'm playing one more of these on there, because that was too yeah, mild. Like a squiggle. Yeah, like I'll a squiggle. take them at the back. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very take disoriented. Your, take your blind Take your mask off. Oh, okay, okay yeah. sorry. Okay. You're done, you're like... I had a little, little touch, one more touch. Okay, we're ready. Okay, yeah, you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay, let's go. Go, 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 I'm hungry. Well, let's go grab a snack. Okay, I'm afraid from praying. One more, one more stroke. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Bye. See you next time. <gasps> Goodbye. Bye. Amen. 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 Again, one, two, three. Amen. Amen. Amen.